I grew up reading comics. I was especially fascinated by the villain. The villain gets to come in and stir everything up and create the drama. And I like to create a bit of drama. Sebastian is so tired of being weak and being needy, and the idea of being in control and being powerful to him is too much to resist. We had to create two different pools, one against a green screen and one on set. That took months of meetings to get the viscosity correct and also to be able to float in it correctly and to be able to submerge in it. And poor Joseph, because that stuff that we used was so buoyant, it pops you up to the top. And then you're naked and they go, OK, it's going to be a closed set. Only essential crew members. Oh, and the 80 background extras as well. That was where I was glad I'd done all that working out for months. I felt like, although it would test me in some ways to do something like that, it's going to be one of those iconic images of the season. I'm really happy that we got it in there. When we were given Brother Blood this season, it was a really exciting opportunity for us to have a bit of a departure. We didn't want to have this full helmet creature, which the character is often depicted wearing in the books, but we did want to have elements of that. So what we did is we actually created a mask that's a bone mask, and you can't really figure out whose bones or what bones they are. We created an actual language called Sangui, so on the armbands, one was from Bram Stoker's Dracula, which is the blood is the life. On the other armband, I chose for it to say always and forever. The first time I wore it to set was a big moment for me. Striding along in that costume with the cape trailing behind you. That was incredible. You definitely feel powerful wearing something like that. Brother Blood was always there, living in the depths of Sebastian's mind. It was my wife who convinced me to play him with more kindness and more vulnerability because she said, you're going to have a greater arc to play. I'm not nothing! The level of skill and finesse that Joseph has brought to that arc, it creates a great villain. To be a villain in the DC universe, I mean, for me, it doesn't get better than that.